So here is the Hugging Face tutorial for beginners. In order to start using Hugging Face, first of all, go to HuggingFace.co. And as you can see, we are here on the dashboard. If you look over to the top, you will get to see pricing. So once you get to the pricing tab, you will get to see all their plans right here. And as you can see, they have a free plan, a pro plan, spaces hardware, interface and points, and of course, their enterprise hub so you can choose your desired one. Now let's click on sign up on the top right corner. Here, you need to confirm that you're human. You can also choose the language according to your preference. So now, click on begin and then confirm that you're human by going through this task. And after you're done, just click on confirm. And now we are in the joining page. Here, you need to put in your email address and password. So let's go ahead and type in our email address. And right below it, it says, use your organization email to easily find and join your company or team. So keep that in mind if you're gonna use it for work. Then just go ahead and type in your password. Make sure that the password is strong and matches the requirements mentioned below. And as you can see, I can't go next because it didn't match all the requirements. So I will customize my password accordingly. This way, go ahead and correct your password and then click on next. Now, on this page, you need to complete your profile. First, go ahead and type in your username. Then, you need to put in your full name in this section. So I will go ahead and type it in. Then, you can add an avatar if you want, but this is optional. You can also click on this icon to generate your avatar. Here, you just need to put in a prompt and then click on generate. And once you generate, it will look something like these examples. And on the bottom, it says you can randomize or write your own prompt. So I will go ahead and type in a prompt. I will write something like wallaby with a hat. And you can try whatever you want. Then click on generate. And as you can see, it started generating our avatar. So give it some time for it to get done. Sometimes it may take a little while. So just be patient. And as you can see, it's now done. So click on set as avatar. And after that, you have GitHub username. So if you want, you can put in your GitHub username on this section, but this is optional. In the same way, you can put in your LinkedIn profile. This way, go through the optional details and click on create account. But as you can see, our username is already taken. So we cannot use this username to create our account. What you can do is change up your username and put in something unique. So I will type in another username and try again. But this too is taken. So in this case, I will recommend typing in something unique maybe adding some numbers and trying again. And as you can see, our account has been created and we are now in the main Hugging Face dashboard. Here, you will get to see options like create a new model, hub documentation, and programmatic access. So scroll through the page and I will click on create a new model. So on this section, you can create a new model repository. Here, you need to put in a model name and the owner is set with your username. So let's go ahead and type in a model name. Then you need to go to the license section and choose a license from the options. After that, you can choose between base template and diffusion LoRa template. Then you have public or private. Set it according to your preference. And then right below, you can see once your model is created, you can upload your files using the web interface or Git. And once you click on create model, as you can see here, it says, please match the requested format. So adjust it and click create model. And since we didn't confirm our email, it says we need to confirm the email address before proceeding. So let's go ahead and do that. Just go to your email inbox and confirm it, then click on create model. And as you can see, our model is now created. And here, you can see sections right below your model name like model card and other options. And on the top, you have some different sections that you can explore. You can also click on edit model card if you want. Then 
go to files and versions and this is where you will get to see the files and versions and then we have community here you can start a new discussion new pull request and then go to discussions over here to see the discussions and pull requests after that let's go to settings and this is where you can adjust or change the settings of your model you can click on make public or you can rename or transfer this model right here so here you can put in a new name if you want then we have gated user access for now it is disabled you can click on enable access request if you want and then it will be enabled then you can adjust the settings like auto approval for a new request or manual review then review access request over here then you can download user access report you can also add a user access manually right here now we have community contributions this is where you can enable or disable discussions and prs and if you want to delete the model this is where you can do that now let's scroll up to the top and then click on model card after that click on edit model card over here and as you can see we have all the metadata ui over here so you can go through it and make any necessary changes you can also add tags over here then data sets metrics new version library etc right below it you have the section to add codes to edit or you can click on import model card template and as you can see the model card template has been added that way you won't have to do it manually you can also select this option to open as a pull request to the main branch if you want to commit it indirectly then scroll down further and you have commit changes then you can edit and preview over here right below it you have commit changes to main now let's scroll up to the top here if you click on the three dots on the right side you will get options like clone repository generate doi add to collection mute notifications or report this model hugging face has a user-friendly interface the platform makes it simple to upload your own models or use pre-trained ones for tasks like text classification translation image generation and more by providing a user-friendly interface Hugging Face has democratized machine learning, allowing both beginners and experts to work with cutting-edge models without needing to start from scratch. So as you started your journey with Hugging Face, you can navigate the platform and start creating better models in time. And this was the Hugging Face tutorial for beginners.